Let's give an example of an isomorphism. So consider the following group. Um, G is the subset of matrices A in GL2R, such that A is of the form 1, 0, 1, and then I'll put a star here um, to denote that any number can go there. I, I guess I could say I could say one zero one B. Um, you know, for some B in R. And so now what I'm gonna show is that G um, is is isomorphic. There's an isomorphism um, to R plus the real numbers with addition, and the additive group of the real numbers. Okay, so what's the idea here? So the idea is the map is going to take a matrix. 1, B, 1. And so G, the the you know the group operation is going to be matrix multiplication. Um, and that's going to just bring this to the number B. And so that will be the map. Um, so we'll call this V. And then V takes uh this matrix right here to be um so what do i need to do to show this is an isomorphism um i need to show that it is bijective and it's a group homomorphism or group morphism i should say group morphism um, it's a group morphism. So to show that it's bijective, um, first we'll show that it's injective, i.e. one to one. So let's see. I want to say, so pick um, B and C in R. Uh, then under this map, I have, um, so B equals V of 1, 1, B, C equals V of 1, C, 1, and because B and C are different, that means that matrices are different. Just because the way we decide whether matrices are equals by comparing their components, and if these are different, certainly if these are different, certainly these, or if these are different, certainly these will be. Um, likewise, surjectivity um, is similarly not too hard, given given B and R. Um, choose, you know, matrix one, B one. So that's, that's, that's surge activity. Um, and then the, the part where it's the group homomorphisms, somehow the, the interesting part, um, maybe we can, we can show that down here. Um, the group homomorphism part. So if I take two matrices and multiply them together, what will I get? Well, I'll multiply this row. I'll, so that means I'll copy over the one. 
And then I'll multiply this row with this row. And that'll get me B plus C. And then, you know, let's see, bottom row. Uh, that won't do anything. That'll be zero. And then this bottom row is just going to copy over the one. And so what we've noticed is when we multiply two of these matrices together, based on the way that the matrix was configured, we ended up adding these two, um, these two components. So if we apply the, the map three to both sides, we'll get B plus C. Remember the group operation R plus is going to be addition is equal to B plus C, um, which is, you know, that's exactly how we show it. So B of this thing um, right, phi of, I, I guess maybe I can write it like this, phi of this thing is that, phi of this thing is that, and phi of this thing is that. Um, and because B and C are arbitrary, we have it for the whole 